middle of a project. Um, just got done with this one. Uh, just took this last coat. I put three coats on there, and in between, I probably waited maybe 20, 30, maybe 35 minutes in between because I was watching the game. Um, but this is the third, and I did one touch-up coat afterwards, so uh, this one is pretty much ready to go. Um, let's go around to the other side. Before I say that, uh, I just used some caliber paint, uh, cleaned it up using a wire brush, cleaned them real good, and then because I didn't have a hose, I just got a, like, a little old index Windex bottle and use this to kind of squirt and, and clean my brakes off before I cleaned them. So I found that kind of handy. Go around to the other side. <clears throat> this one, it still needs one more coat. Got everything painted. And this needs one more coat, if you can see that. Am I pretty good? All right. Driver's side. This one is on its last coat, too, as you see. And I'm going to do that while I got you guys with me. But it's coming out pretty good. I just realized my tape came apart right there. And no biggie. No biggie. It's in an area where ain't nobody really gonna see that, so. Uh, but if I can, I'm gonna retape that before I finish. Just get it hidden before I put that last one on. But you can see it's coming out pretty good. Just put a bag over it, man. And protect most of the other parts, and then I taped all inside there. So I gotta put one more coat on there. So. Bear with me. That is on a Chrysler 300. So like I said, this is the last coat. Um, take everything kind of off of it. Oh yeah, got a little paint on there, but not much. Yeah, pretty good. Let's put the tire on and see what that looks like. Hold on. See what it looks like under there. So when it's all said and done, that's <clears throat> what it's gonna look like behind your tire. Pretty good, right? All right, I still ain't took off all the tape either. So hold on. Came out pretty good, all right? Yeah, I'm not gonna come back over and kind of touch that up a little bit, but it did its purpose. Again, behind the tire. Give it that nice pop out look. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. It's going to look pretty cool when I'm all done. Alright, putting on the last coat on the rear one. Just remember, I always try to keep moving. We're going to keep spraying this into this. Almost to it's dripping wet.
Stay moving, guys, too. Stay moving. All right, that is my last coat. Sorry about that. That's my last coat on that one. I'm going to sit and let that dry. You can see how it's turning out. Again, this is on a 300S Chrysler. All right, let's go up here to the front. These brakes are a little different, but just to kind of give you an idea of what you're painting. You're painting all that. All right, doing the last coat. Oh, shoot, I forgot I got to... Take this up a little bit. Oh, no. All right, got that tape back off. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. All I'm going to have to come back and do a touch-up on this one. I got to pull that bag back. Hold on. All right, I didn't get that front good enough. So, so I'm going to definitely worry about the spots that can be seen. But anywhere else in the back, I'm not too worried about because the tires want to be in the way. So after that coat, it's heavy, pretty wet looking down there too. It's about to drip. Uh, I might come back through and do one more touch up and be done, man. But that's it. And Chrysler 300S. So going to paint them red, keep them mean looking. And, uh, I'm about to get these tires back on here. Let this sit and dry for a minute. Alright, that's it guys, I hope that helps you have any questions or concerns, put them in the comments and we'll get right on that for you.